The next thing we need to do with bearings is have a look at questions when we have two different points. So I've set up two questions here that we can have a look at together. So the question might say something along the lines of, what bearing do you need to travel on to get to A from B? And it's the from B that's the important bit because that tells us where we're starting. Now, when measuring bearings, remember the north line is really important. We set our compass up, sorry, we set our protractor up so that it lines up with the north line and the centre should be at B. We then measure in a clockwise direction all the way around to the direction heading to A. So A from B in this case is 250 degrees. We then might have a second part of the question that asks us how to get to B from A. So again from A, so this time we're looking at A, we put in our north to remind us that we're measuring from the north line. We set our protractor to zero there, make sure the centre is A, and I measure around to get the bearing that goes from north all the way around heading towards B. For this one, I get 70 degrees, but 70 degrees isn't a bearing until we add the zero at the start. So zero, seven, zero degrees. And that is the answer for that question. Similarly, another question, exactly the same idea. The language says 2C from D. So it's the from D that's important. I'm going to line up with my north line. I measure clockwise all the way around until I reach the line that's traveling 2C. This time we have 300 degrees. And the second part of the question may ask you to get 2D from C. So we're measuring from C. So the north line here is important. Sometimes you might actually have to draw the north lines in for yourself if they're not there. And north will always go straight up. Um, and that's really important. From the north line, we measure in a clockwise direction along to our line that we're traveling. And for this one, it is 120 degrees. And that is how we answer those bearing questions.